I've had a few people ask me how I make movie edits like this. And while I'm not the best at doing this, I use completely free and open source software. Anyone can do this, and I'm gonna show you how, step by step. Greetings, I'm Chameleon. Before we get started, I'd like to give you a warning. This tutorial is an intermediate difficulty level. I'm going to assume that you already know the basics of the command line, and that you can set up a Python virtual environment to set up some of these tools. But don't worry, if you follow the install instructions for all of these tools, you should be fine. And without further ado, let's get started with the first step, which is sourcing the clip itself. Now in my case, I've got the entire two-hour movie to work with, but that's a little bit too much, so I'm going to use FFmpeg to clip out just the section where Agent Smith interrogates Morpheus. That's going to be about a six-minute segment of the movie. Now if we look at our FFmpeg reference here, we can use the dash SS command to make a clip. And note that we can make a clip with the original quality intact. The dash C copy option just means that it's going to take a slice out of the bigger video. So we don't have to worry about loss from making copies of copies. Alright, now that we've got our segment, let's extract just the audio from it so that we can separate the vocal track from the rest of it. And to do that, we're going to use FFmpeg one more time. I'm going to use the dash map command to create an MP3 out of the audio. And that'll give us everything we need to feed into step two, which is ultimate vocal remover. Now, if you're not already familiar with ultimate vocal remover, it's an incredibly useful free tool. Doesn't require a beefy GPU to run. Pretty much anybody can run it. Its primary purpose is to separate the vocal track from the rest of the audio, but it can do other things too, like separate instruments, and um, very useful for like removing noise, like wind and stuff like that. For this clip, I'm going to be using the MDX Net architecture and the InstVoc HQ model, which is a general vocal separation model. Um, depending on your situation, you might want to use something else like a um, denoise or um, if there's overlapping audio, you might want something like the karaoke model. But most of the time, this InstVoke model will probably get you what you want. And with that done, I'll just show you real quick. The top is the instrumental track and the bottom is the what? vocal track. What are you doing? I'm going to... I have to. Neomorpheus sacrificed him. And yeah, with that, we are ready to import this into our video editor. I'm using Caden Live, a free and open source video editor. And what I'm going to do is just import the original clip, as well as the separated vocal and instrumental tracks, then overlay them all on the timeline. And now that we've got everything synced up, we're free to mute the vocals and the background separately. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Please remove any metallic items you're carrying, keys. Would you please remove any metallic items you're carrying, keys, loose change? Alright, now let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of the edit. I'm gonna clip out this section you saw at the beginning, where Agent Smith is talking to Morpheus. Then I'm gonna record some voice lines. Then I'm gonna put that into the video. Now, for the voice lines, sometimes I just ramble and then worry about what it looks like later. But in this instance, I'm going to see what it looks like first and then try to match Agent Smith's uh, timing and motion. And while I'm here, I've also got to isolate Agent Smith's face for the lip sync software. So, in a future step, when I feed this into the lip sync stuff, it tries to detect the face to lip sync with, and it really does not like it when there's two faces. So I'm just going to use the rotoscope tool to crudely cut Morpheus out of the frame so that I can render a video for the lip sync. And also, just keep in mind, I'm doing one shot. Um, if you need to do multiple shots, every time the camera changes, that has to be a unique shot 
fed into the lip sync software. It can't process um, camera changes. Sometimes it can't even process when the guy kind of moves around too much. So you just got to keep that in mind. All right, now off screen, I've already recorded my voice lines for this, and I'm going to convert it using the speech to speech voice software Sovitz SVC fork. Now, this is certainly not the only option out there for you. Another very popular option is RVC, and one front end for that that's easy to use is Applio. Um, I'll let you figure that one out for yourself, but for this one, use in Sovitz SVC. Now I've gone through the trouble of training my own Hugo Weaving model from scratch by painstakingly taking out all of his voice lines from Lord of the Rings and The Matrix and a few other movies. I'm aware that it doesn't sound the best, but I don't know, I have a thing for using only voice models that I've trained myself. It's kind of a hobby of mine. So with that processed, we're going to import that into our timeline gonna check out how that looks real quick and then render it out and this is the actual clip that we're going to feed into the lip sync software i've had a few people ask me how i make movie edits like this and while i'm not the best at doing this i use completely free and open source software anyone can do this and i'm gonna show you how step by step the lip sync software that I'm using today is called Wave to Lip, specifically the fork by Moser. Now, this is admittedly the weakest point in the chain for me. Wave to Lip just doesn't produce great looking outputs. I've tried other solutions, I can't get them to work. I'm on AMD Linux, seems like most of the other things out there are geared towards Windows, NVIDIA. There are a lot of different alternatives to this. Uh, one of them is Wave to Lip HD. Same technology, higher fidelity. Another one is Live Portrait. I've seen that one used by Corridor. That one seems to produce kind of goofy looking output, which is fine if you're making a meme. So, really, a lot of different options out there. But today, Wave to Lip. In Wave to Lip, you specify your audio input and your video input, which can be separate. But in our case, we have rendered them as one thing, so just specify the same MP4 file for both audio and video, and it will take care of the rest. Now, it will complain if it can't find a face, so pay attention to that command line output. If the face is obscured too much, or if it's too close to the camera, sometimes that'll mess it up. So, not 100% guaranteed to work. But the shot I've selected works pretty well, so we'll give it a go, and let's take a look at the raw output that it gave us. I've had a few people ask me how I make movie edits like this, and while I'm not the best at doing this, I use completely free and open source software. Anyone can do this, and I'm gonna show you how step by step. Now we're gonna import this into our timeline. And as you may have noticed, the output quality is not great, uh, especially kind of a square that's noticeable around his mouth. So what we're going to do is use rotoscoping and keep only the area immediately around his mouth, discard everything else, and then we'll be done. Fortunately, rotoscoping the mouth is a pretty quick process, um, since it already blends into the footage anyway, and be quite crude about it. Might take you a couple minutes per shot, but really no big deal. And with that, all we have to do is bring the background track back in, and that'll really bring everything together. I've had a few people ask me how I make movie edits like this. And that's it. That's the whole process. Hopefully now you can understand why this looks and sounds different than somebody who uses proprietary software like Eleven Labs and After Effects and stuff like that. And I'm not a professional video editor, so I'm learning about this process too. And as I'm learning about it, I'm sharing it with you. So hopefully this was useful information. Go out there, make your own edits. You don't have to have fancy equipment. You don't have to have money. Just get out there and do it. That's all I've got for this one. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.